September at 2023. So guys, the Progressive Zimbabweans in South Africa, PZSA Group, is threatening to close the Bedbridge border post in an effort to pressure Zimbabwean authorities into calling for new elections. This push comes after presidential Emerson Nangagwa was declared the winner of the presidential election held on August 23 and 24, uh, 2023 by the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, ZEG. The victory was criticized by the SADC Election Observer Mission, SEOM, led by Dr. Nevers Sequili Mumba, who deemed the election as not being free, fair, and credible. The COM cited concerns such as delayed voting, ballot paper mix-up, and voter intimidation. The PZSA group has said that it will announce the date for a shutdown. The group is advocating for new elections that are free, fair, and credible in Zimbabwe. In a flyer which is circulating on social media, it is written, I fix Zimbabwe, stop immigration crisis in South Africa. A significant number of Zimbabweans reside in South Africa, either as workers or students. This has caused immigration concerns as some South Africans believe that Zimbabweans are taking away job opportunities. Authorities have also expressed concerns about the strain on the economy, particularly in the healthcare sector. Last week, a large number of Zimbabwean nationals residing in South Africa participated in streets protests on Friday, September 8. They were expressing their dissatisfaction with the election results of August 23, which they claimed were manipulated in favor of the ZANU PF party. The opposition citizens calling for change to policy, led by Nelson Chamisa, rejected the presidential results and called for fresh elections supervised by an independent body like SADC, the African Union, or the United Nations instead of the perceived past ZEC. Following his inauguration on September 4, uh, 2023, President Nangagwa has announced his new cabinet. Congratulations from regional and global leaders, including UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, have reduced the likelihood of a fresh poll. Academic Imbo Mandaza and international bodies will do absolutely nothing unless Zimbabweans themselves take the initiative to use this occasion to pressure the regional body to carry out its responsibilities under the organ on politics, defense, and security. Journalist Hopo shares a similar view, stating that Mandaza's observation accurately captures the current post election situation in Zimbabwe. He added, Anyone who tells us that SADC, AU, or UN will do something for Zimbabwe uh, to resolve the election situation is lying to you. It is only Zimbabweans who can fix their problems. The C is adamant help is coming. Mr. Chamisa said that his party will not wait for five years to provide leadership in Zimbabwe. He criticized President Emerson Nangagwa accusing him of undermining the democratic process through various coups on the ballot since 2008. He said, we not wait for five years. There has to be change now and we are going to lead in making sure that change comes to Zimbabwe. We are putting a full stop to this mess. Whatever it takes, we must provide leadership. It remains to be seen if there will be fresh polls. In 2008, Urban Mugabe was sworn in as the president of Zimbabwe after the presidential elections. However, the international community, including some countries and organizations, expressed concerns about the electoral process and alleged irregularities. There were reports of violence, intimidation, and manipulation of results during the elections. As a result, many countries and international bodies did not recognize Mugabe's re-election and raised doubts about the legitimacy of his presidency. The situation led to diplomatic tensions and further strained Zimbabwe's relations with the international community. The election from the international community forced the ruling party to engage in negotiations that lead to a power sharing agreement between Rupert Mugabe and Morgan Tsvangirai. The agreement established the Government of National Unity, GNU, which was operational between 2009 and 2013. And so, guys, that's the latest here. And so, at the bottom line, like what uh, Dr. Ibo Mandaza said, that uh, it is only Zimbabweans who can fix their problems. Zimbabweans can fix their own problems. We don't have to wait for SADC or AU 
or the UN to intervene by eyes. And at the same time, we are waiting for what I'm just promised. The men say that uh, we will not wait for five years to provide leadership in Zimbabwe. And Saga, which means good tea, come on a plan. So wait for his signal. This is weekly news roundup on Prince United Team TV. Do you agree with Dr. Ibo Mandaza? Do you agree with what Nelson Chamisa is telling his supporters that we will not wait for five years? There is to be change now, and we are going to lead in make sure that change comes to Zimbabwe. We are putting a full stop to this mess, whatever it takes. We must provide leadership. This is what the man is saying right now. Almost three weeks, four weeks after elections, almost a month now. And the man is still promising that he's not going to wait until 2028. So guys, this is Weekly News Roundup. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Your comments are greatly appreciated in the comment section. Remember, we are always Zimbabwe at the end of the day. We all want the same thing, which is a better Zimbabwe for everybody. Do you think AU, SADC, UN will intervene? Will you solve these electoral discrepancies in Zimbabwe? Can I go to the comment section?